What's goes in on YouTubers? I am Sandrea Mendez. I'm bringing you the word of the day for September 5th. Grand rising to my gods, goddesses, kings, and queens. So I'm going to explain to you why I call some people gods and goddesses. It's because I see the god and the goddess in you. I already set with my team. I have already meditated. I'm getting downloads. Today, the ancient ancestors want me to channel them and bring you the word of the day. So the word of the day for September 5th will be from the ancient ancestors. I'm going to pull some affirmation cards. Well, not really affirmation cards, but love cards for your chakras. What messages do you have for the YouTubers for September 5th? 2020 show me clearly what messages do you have for them they need to know compassion heart chakra so spirits are saying some of y'all need to work on your heart chakra resolve your conflicts with compassion everything doesn't need a a reaction to it that's what i'm saying if you have a reaction to everything someone says to you, that's how they control you. So Spirit sent everything don't need a reaction. Start healing your um your heart chakra. Start grounding with Mother Gaia. Take spirit bath. Meditate. Release. Watch your breathing. Everything does not need a reaction. Let's see what the shamans have to say for y'all today on September 5th, 2020. What messages do you have for them? The overall general energy for September 5th, 2020. I'll call upon the shamans. What messages do you have? Spirit is saying somebody's pregnant and y'all about to find out. Y'all always have irregular periods. So Spirit is saying y'all just think it's the norm, but you're pregnant. Felici Davis, congratulations. Spirit is also saying, the ancient ones are saying, some of y'all can speak in different languages, different tongues. I'm not talking about how you went to school or your parents from this um, group or your mom's from this group, your dad's from this. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking spiritual tongues, the kind that you hear in church. I mean, spiritual tongues, speaking in tongues. Spirit is saying a lot of y'all have that gift. When you get that feeling and they mount you and you start speaking in tongues, ask for translation. They will give you translation. You have the gift of the tongues. You have the gift that means you're connected to the ancient ancestors. You need to go before the ancient ancestors and honor them. Let's see. Discernment. I think I spoke upon this yesterday on my live. Some of y'all have the spirit of discernment. The shamans are saying y'all need to start. That comes confirmation with speaking of the tongues. Y'all have discernment. Y'all have connection with the ancient ancestors. So spirit is saying you need to um, take one moment. You need to honor the ancient ancestors. You need to call them forth. You need to go before them. Because this is where your judgment is going to take place. This is where you're going to bless and you're going, they're going to activate your more gifts. So Spirit saying you have the gift of discernment. Everyone don't. There's a difference between discernment and intuition. If you want to know, go watch my live from yesterday. Um, Spirit is saying y'all have unlimited possibilities. Y'all can have anything you want. It's the law of mentalism. Everything is energy. What you attract. So if... You around uh, negative people, that's what you're going to attract, negative people. So if you want to attract positivity, you got to be around positive people. If you want the same like-minded people, if you spiritual, stop hanging around sleepers and start hanging around people that spiritual. Start using your intuition. Start trusting in your spiritual team to guide you. What you think, you can manifest. Thoughts are energy. Thoughts. Law of mentalism. Some of y'all spiritually fuck. It's because y'all think things and y'all speak it. Anytime you speak negativity over you, you place in a root. You burning bread on yourself. Be careful with your thoughts and your words. Words are spells. Words are spells. 
be careful. Some of y'all are powerful manifestors. Y'all have to be careful with your thought and your way you speak because y'all up in that dimension and y'all don't even know it. Y'all manifest stuff quick. Start paying attention. Law of mentalism. Some of y'all are going to be <clears throat> some of y'all are going to be teaching children, domestic violent women, battered women, which is domestic violent women, um, homeless people. Y'all gonna be teaching um, people that's just waking up. You're gonna be their guides. You're not gonna hold their hand. Your job is to guide them, like I'm guiding y'all. Some of y'all are going to be helping um, transgenders. Their spirit is saying there's a lot of transgenders are regretting what they did. So it's like messing with them mentally because that's what they thought they wanted. They didn't think it through clearly. So they're going to be needing help. A lot of y'all are going into hermit mode. The spirit is saying y'all need to honor y'all energy because y'all giving it away too much. Okay, <clears throat> there was a movie called The Shining. It was back in the 70s. And it was about gifted people. That's why I called it The Shine. The Shining. Then they got a movie called Dr. Sleep, which is the repeat, the second part of The Shining. This is when the little boy grew up and he's helping another little girl. You got to learn to cut, turn your shine off and on. By calling back your power, closing your power portals, and calling back your energy. There's people out there, there's sheep um, shapeshifters. They are wolves in sheep clothing. They befriend you to get from you. They get off by getting your energy. By them doing that, they blocking your growth. You got to understand you constantly growing. And for my gifted, chosen ones with that special DNA, they know you powerful. They see your shine. Your shine is powerful. And a lot of people come into your life to block it so you won't manifest in your gifts. So you won't perceive what the Most High wants for you to do. So some of y'all need to start scanning people because everybody's not your friend. Everybody don't want you to make it. Some of them are your family members. Because they wonder why you got it and they don't. They wonder why, well not wondering why, they wishing they were you. The spirit says sometimes it can be your family member, sometimes it can be a childhood friend, sometimes it can be someone at your work, someone, it can also be people in the spiritual group that y'all bond with. It's funny how y'all bond quick. Be careful with that. Learn to turn your shine on and off. That's your light. Okay, ancient ancestors, I am ready. What messages do you have for them for September 5th? 2020. I call upon the ancient ancestors to help me with this reading for September 5th, 2020. Show me clearly, speak to me loudly. Spirit is saying the ancients, when I say spirits, I'm talking to the ancients because that's the one they call me. Okay, somebody. Your white blood cells and your red blood cells is kind of low. And it's making you extra, extra tired. And you're wondering why. It's not leukemia. So don't worry. Whoever this is. Spirit is saying it's not leukemia. But y'all need to get some spirulina. Y'all need to get some sea moss. Y'all need to get some bladder whack. Y'all need to start um, sea moss. Y'all need to start doing... Not all of Dr. Sabi, but some of Dr. Sabi's remedies. And it's going to help you because the medicine that the doctor is giving you is man-made and it's helping and it's not helping. It's causing some problems too. So y'all need to get that. The spirulina, bladder wax, sea moss. Passion, I'm hearing some of y'all need passion flower to help with your third eye. I'm hearing some of y'all need um 
white bark because the blood is not pumping properly to your heart. You have uh, clogged um, capillaries, vessels, veins. Spirit is saying get some white tree bark. It comes in a capsule. That's going to help with the blockages. Spirit is saying a lot of y'all women are wondering why your weight keep going on and off. It's because you started your menaces early and you're going through premenopausal. So some of that weight is water gain. So start drinking stuff. Alkaline water, distilled water with pink little pinch of pink Himalayan salt. Key lime, lemon, whatever floats your boat. Put it in there, shake it, and start drinking it every day. And that's going to help release the water. Somebody is about to get kidney stones. It's because you're drinking the wrong water. You're overdoing calcium. Um, you need to change the water. I'm hearing distilled water because distilled water doesn't have the calcium. You're having a calcium buildup in your kidneys. That's why you're having uh, back pain. And you think it's because you're exercising or, or lifting something wrong because where you work, no, you're developing kidney stones. So Spirit is saying start drinking distilled water. That's going to help break it down and you're going to pee it out. Spirit is saying also some of y'all get ready to go through a tower moment. This tower moment is to help you gain strength, to walk in your divinity and your power. A lot of things have to go. Spirit is saying a lot of relationships have ended. A lot of marriages have ended. A lot of people are going to be walking away from their family because their family just hurt them, used them. It's not saying you don't love your family. It's just that you're going to have to feed them with a long handle spoon. A lot of y'all are getting going into, like I said, the hermit mode, self soul searching, getting to know what you want. Um, sometimes spirit have to make something bad happen in your life to get your attention. Because they keep giving you signs and signs and signs and signs and you keep fighting with them and you keep bumping into the wall and they saying this is not good. So they're going to make something traumatic happen in your life. It's like a slap in the face saying, wake up. This is what I want you to do. Stop focusing on that. That's not for you. You got something way better, way bigger, and it's going to last long. It's not going to treat you the way things are treating you now. Some of y'all are angels are saying y'all keep going in the past. The past is gone for a reason. The past offered you a present to change the future. So you are the author of your story. The past just gave you an open canvas book for you to write your future. The beginning and the end is how you want it. It's up to you. Don't worry about the middle. The beginning is how you want it. And eventually you're going to like it and you're going to have a beautiful middle. You're going to have complications. You're going to have setbacks. But if you want that happy ending, it all begins with you. Spirit says some of y'all need to honor your ancestors. Y'all not honoring your ancestors. You never worship your ancestors. No, because you didn't worship. You don't worship your mom, your dad, your grandparents. So why are you going to worship your ancestors? You honor them. By honoring them, it's saying thank you. It's showing gratification. It's showing that you're grateful for them opening and closing the doors for you. For making you turn down the wrong street to prevent an uh, accident or prevent from getting a ticket. They see things that you can't see. Start honoring them and saying thank you. You have your ancestors that you know and didn't know. Ancient ancestors are saying you have 4,094 for the past 400 years, ancestors that's waiting on you, that's guiding you. They went through hell to make sure you didn't have to go through. They marched. Some marched with Martin Luther King. Some marched before Martin Luther King was even born. Some of them was hanging from the tree so you can be where you are free. You got to start honoring your ancestors. They went through a lot. A lot of them refused to be slaves and they jumped in the ocean. A lot of y'all have ancestors in the bottom of that ocean near any Caribbean island. That's why some of y'all ancient ancestors say y'all going to be traveling to uh, foreign waters to meet your ancestors that's in the bottom of that water. Spirit is saying you need to start honoring them. If you don't know their name, you put high believing and hill ancestors known and unknown on my maternal, which is mother, paternal, which is father's side. They know you. It doesn't matter if you know them or not. They know you. Some of y'all have outgrown your 
human ancestors. Some of y'all need to connect with your spiritual ancestors and your ancient ancestors. And that's who's assisting me in this reading now is my ancient ancestors. A lot of y'all going to be passing y'all legacy, y'all y'all grimoire. Your grimoire is a book where you write your thoughts, your dreams. If you do spells, whatever, whatever you write, that journal is your power. That holds your power, your energy. Spirit is saying some of y'all going to be passing that on to your grandchildren. Because some of them are the ones that's going to finish what you started. Mother Gaia and the universe is offering you a divine gift. Some of y'all have special gifts that other people don't. That's why you chosen. It's in your DNA. Spirit is saying they're going to start October. You're going to start coming forth into those gifts. Spirit is saying, start using your spiritual eyes. We have four spiritual eyes and two human eyes. One, two, three, four is your four spiritual eyes. Spirit says, start using your spiritual eyes. Start asking them to show you in your mind's eye. They will show you a picture. They might show you a letter. They might show you a color. They might make you think of a song. A song automatically pop in your head. When you hear a song that automatically pops in your head, they want you to read the lyrics because there's a message in it. Some of y'all are wondering why everybody is preceding you. Why you're still stuck. Because it's not your time yet. You got to cook a little bit longer. Because you don't know what they did to get it. And it's not going to last. When it's your time to shine. When it's your time for people to recognize you. People are going to start recognizing you for who you are. What the most high give you. Can't no one take from you. It's not going to slip through. It's going to last. It's going to be steady. It can't be moved. A lot of y'all going to be celebrating Family reunion, y'all going to be celebrating uh, finally that loan going through that y'all applied for, getting a new position, getting higher in the corporate. Some of y'all going to be like, you know what, I'm going to step out on faith and open up my own business. Spirit is saying, go ahead. <clears throat> Spirit is saying, some of y'all going to go back to school. Some of y'all are... <clears throat> are going to be RNs. Some of y'all going to be physical therapists. The one that does ultrasound for uh, pregnant women, I can't think of the name, but they show me you're doing an ultrasound. Some of y'all going to be that type of technician. <clears throat> Some of y'all going to be opening up your own um, health business, like for home health aides, care caregivers, because there's a lot of elderly that's not getting attended to because they don't have Medicare because of something or they don't have the funds to pay for this so spirit saying you're going to be um helping some of y'all going to go back for real estate in school and get your real estate or, and then y'all going to be flipping houses y'all going to be renting out houses like airbnb for spiritual uh retreats some of them are going to some i'm seeing spirit showing me that somebody's going to go to um an auction and get a bus get an old school bus and then you're going to convert it into something um, Spirit is also saying the people that's going back to real estate school, y'all going to be finding empty school buildings and y'all going to be flipping it for people that are homeless. The people that lost their house because of a hurricane or a fire or because they lost their job during COVID and they got evicted. Spirit is also saying some of these people that's on drugs is because they choose to be on drugs. So when you offer someone, ask Spirit to lead you to the person that needs to be helped. Because everybody don't deserve help because they chose that way. They, they chose to be that way. So you need to learn the difference. And I know that sounds cruel, but it's true. Spirit is saying some of y'all have the gypsy spirit around y'all. Y'all, they showing me that y'all can skyre, scry through your phone, through your TV, through water, through a crystal ball. Some of y'all can read palms. Palms. Spirit is saying, y'all going to start doing that. Spirit is also saying, someone's going to have a passing of a friend. And it's going to happen quick. Y'all didn't see this coming. Spirit is saying, I know it's going to hurt, but wait three days before you try talking to this person. 
because the person doesn't realize they're dead. And then that's the spiritual law, three days. Three days is the law. I'm hearing this person had a heart problem, didn't even know it. So they didn't really suffer. They had a sharp pain and then they left. And only way somebody's going to find out is because they're going to say, I haven't heard from this person. And they're going to go by their house or try, and they're going to try calling, but this person's not answering. And then they're going to go by and they're going to find this person. I'm sorry, um, but someone's about to have a passing of a friend. Spirit is saying that um, between October, November, December, January, all the way to February, the veil is thin. That is when the heavens come down and meet. And this is where you're going to be able to, for the ones that can't see, you're going to be able to see your ancestors, <clears throat> other spirits, your spiritual ancestors, some ancient ancestors. Spirit is saying you're going to be able to touch them. Especially, it's going to start October 31st. Spirit is saying, start um, honoring them now, getting to know them now. Because, well, I'm, they saying I'm saying too much, but you need to honor them now. Spirit is saying, for some of my readers... You need to burn a blue candle. It's going to help you with your readings more, Spirit is saying. <laughs> Spirit is saying some of y'all have to be more open and understanding that there's always two sides of a story. Sometimes Spirit is saying... Y'all not y'all relationship can work. Some things that you're feeling is your ego. So spirit is saying, listen to both sides of the story. It will add up. If you're getting confirmation, then they saying then this person is doing what your intuition is saying. Because spirit is saying sometimes they be talking to you and you think it's them and it's your ego. Spirit says y'all need to learn the difference between spirit and ego because sometimes y'all hang yourself because it was your ego and not spirit. Spirit is also saying some of y'all feeling guilty for saying no and putting yourself first. But self is very powerful. That's where the magic begins. That's where the love begins. Self-love, self-worth, everything, self-respect. It's self. That's where it starts. Here, self. That's where the magic is. That's where you're going to find your love. Because when you start loving you, then people will know and have the proper fragrance and instructions on how to love you back. Because you're telling them by the way you're vibrating. Stop feeling guilty and hard on yourself because, you know, people are getting irritated with you. You got to understand, if I'm in front of you, and you don't like what I am. And all of a sudden you start arguing with me. That's what you need to work on. If I'm striking something. And I'm causing you to trigger something. Spirit is saying that's what you need to work on. That's the part of your ego that you need to work on. You need to accept who you are. You are gifted. You need to accept that. You need to accept that others are not going to be. Uh, it's not going to resonate with everything you have to say. Like I said. Plant that seed. It's up to them if they want to grow it or kill it. Because it's going to come back to you. So if their rejection is your blessing. God's rejection is your protection. You got to be very disciplined on the spiritual journey. When you pray, that's when you're asking. When you meditate, that's when you're receiving. So you need to shut up during meditation. You need to shut up and sometimes they hear what they're trying to say. Stop fighting with your team because you're not going to win. How are you going to check them if you can't see them? How are you going to check them if you don't know them? You got to learn their energy. You got to know who they are. Anytime you call something forth, ask them and you feel a presence of coldness or hotness or like you're feeling woozy or dizzy. Ask them to identify themselves if you can't see Ask them to identify if you have the gift of smelling. Ask them to give you a smell. Ask them to give you something in your third eye. Don't always 
figure that's who it is that you call. That's where you fucked up. That's where you fucked up. And then spirits be saying, you know you fucked up, right? That's what your ancestors are saying. You know you fucked up, right? Because you didn't identify them. When someone call you and you don't know the answer, I mean, the who it is that's calling, and you answer, who do, what do you say? Who is this? May I ask who's calling? Who is this? Don't you identify? It's the same fucking way, yo. Some of y'all need to change your perseverance. Some of y'all need to know what perseverance means. That's why you have Google. That's why you have a dictionary. Google it. Some of y'all are in denial of who you are. Spirit is saying some of y'all, in the spirit realm, there's ranks, just like in the military. You have private, private first class. You have lieutenant. You have sergeant. You have uh, corporal. You have uh, colonel. You have general. You have whatever. It's the same ranks when it comes to your gifts. There's high priestess, high priestess first class. There's all ones. And there's a high priestess over all high priestesses. Also high priest. Everybody that can do magic is not a witch. It's just something they want to do. That's why I said everyone's gifted. Everyone's not chosen. There's a difference. A lot of people get their gifts because it's passed on. It's called, um, what is the word? It starts with a C. Whatever. I'm going to break it down another way. Sometimes people, when they do something, they trying to read you. Sometimes they channel demons or angels to help them with their gifts. That's how you know they're not chosen. Because when you're chosen, it automatically comes to you. You don't need nothing. It automatically teaches you. If you notice that you're mastering something, it's because you have always done it your life. Sometimes people, it comes to them naturally. They don't need no demon or no angel to come and tell them to call forth the dead or to read or to show you a visit, uh, vision. It automatically, because God gave you that gift. That's why I said everyone has gifts, yes, but everyone's not chosen. They don't have that special DNA. There is a difference, and there's going to be people that's going to argue with, argue with me. We agree to disagree, but there is a difference. Because I know people say, well, I use this demon when I'm doing mediumship. And I'm like, well, it comes naturally to me. I don't need it. And then they get past, pissed off at me. That's what I'm saying. It's a difference. It comes natural. And for some of y'all, it comes natural. So y'all need to accept that, that everybody's not going to like you. The higher the level, the bigger the devil. Y'all got to understand that. And then there's going to be people that's going to try to take your shine, like I said before. But what God give you, they cannot take it. They're going to fail. And you're going to watch them fail. Always amp up your protection. Because there's always going to be someone that's jealous of you. Because they wonder why, why people flock to you. Why your, your readings are so accurate and it comes true. I wonder why. Because you have that special DNA. And they don't. So they're not going to like you. One more card. Ancient Ancestors. Some of y'all have a badass imagination. Start writing these books, these e-books, this podcast. I don't know, but Spirit's saying y'all need to be writing something. Some of y'all are got a badass artist. People, because you put your pain and your emotions and your love and your art is different from everybody. You have the spirit of Frida. It's a Mexican lady. Her name was Frida. She was a badass artist. Y'all need to Google it because some of, some of y'all have her around y'all and y'all art is different in love and it can be worth money. Start start doing it. I'm seeing it. Her name is Frida, F-R-E-D-A. She's a Mexican artist. She would talk English to you, but they saying Google her because y'all have that spirit around you. She's one of y'all spirit guys because y'all about to do some badass uh, arts, drawings, whatever art you're doing, it's some badass and it's going to be worth money because can't nobody draw what you drew, draw. They don't have your vision. They don't have your imagination. That's a gift from the divine. Some of y'all need to surrender to the divine. Some of y'all need to surrender to your higher self because y'all fighting it. Soon as y'all say, fuck it, I give up. I'm going to walk this walk, this journey. Watch things start happening for you. 
Watch doors start opening for you. And all of a sudden, you're getting money. You're getting blessings out of everywhere. Watch. Soon as you surrender, it's going to be bada boom, bada bing. Bada boom, bada bing. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I hope y'all be blessed on this September 5th, 2020. Please, whoever this is. Oh, my God. Start telling everybody you love them. Tomorrow's never promised. And I'm sorry for the passing of this friend. It's going to happen quickly. Like I said, I'm selling, sending you whoever this is healing energy. My heart is going out to you. But you have to understand it's the law of the land. There's a season to be born, a season to die, a season to cry, the season to laugh. It's, 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 it's part of the law of the land. But the body's dead. They will go back. They will always be with you. And they're going to be someone that's going to guide you. So my heart goes out to whoever this person is. And this person haven't even reached, reached 30 yet. I'm here in 28, 29. I don't know. But y'all be blessed. Namaste. Oh, if I get up to 100 subscribers... I'm going to give away two free readings. It's going to be spirit-led. It can be with cards or without cards. I do either or. But a lot of people feel comfortable with the cards. So I can do it with cards. But if I can get up to 100 subscribers, I'm going to give away two readings. I need y'all to like, leave comments, do what you do. I'm a woman of my word. You're not going to regret having a reading. But those who have had readings with me, comment, tell them like it is. You know, but if I can get up to 100 subscribers, I'm going to give away two free readings. Like, subscribe, share, beat up my word of mouth. Y'all be blessed. Namaste.